hear us over there? Yeah, we can hear you. Yep. Great. Okay, we're here with Barton George of Dell. Hey, Barton, how are you? I'm, I'm doing quite well, Alex. You're sporting a different shirt today. Yes, I did. I went from the crowbar black to the Austin uh, cowboy motif. Or maybe you could show this for us. Too, yeah, here. this is this is from NTT. They're uh, they're a sponsor. So this. How is about that, huh? Fan with, uh, Fuji San right there. So. Uh, Hadoop yeah, elephant. yeah, Hadoop elephant. Um, trying to remember what elephant is in Japanese, but I forget. So enough of the playing around here. Yes, sir. I wanted we wanted to talk to you a little bit about Dell and what your impressions are of the event. Yep. And what is this Dell open source movement we keep hearing about, and how does it relate to Hadoop? I think the the Dell open source movement is is pretty organic in the way that it's that's coming up through the company and what you're. What you're hearing about it, uh, probably the biggest proof point is what we announced yesterday, which is the fact that we're open sourcing six bar clamps. By the end of this month, the code's gonna be up on GitHub. And what a bar clamp is, is we've got this, well, a little bit of history first. We've got something called Project Crowbar. And so what it is, is it takes, takes the open source part of Chef, it wraps it in, in a software framework, and originally the whole idea was uh, a quick way to provision and deploy OpenStack. So you could get it up and running in, in an hour or two as opposed to, to days or weeks. Um, what we realized was that, hey, this, this kind of provisioning software works great for scale-out architectures. What are the scale-out architectures that we use it for? Well, Hadoop is a perfect match. So we, uh, we wrote the modules on top. They, uh, our architects rewrote it. So we actually have people at Dell who are, re who are writing the software. Uh, rewrote it to make it modular in this form where you've got bar clamps that sit on top. So we've, yeah. so we've got the, the ones we announced yesterday were for Hadoop. Okay. And those are uh, for CDH, for the enterprise version, for Pig, Flu, Scoop, and Zookeeper. I got all six. So um, those will go live on GitHub at the end of the month. Okay. So we want people to go in there and start hacking on it and start working on it. What we're trying to do is we want to be building a community here. Right. Uh, and we want as many people as, as possible to go and, and start looking at that. So that's uh, that's sort of how we started with the Skunk Works project within Dell that just sort of grew up personally. And we thought, hey, how can we make it easier for our customers to deploy on our hardware? And then we had, had greater applications and, uh, and greater uh, greater uh, from there. Ben, what do you think? Well, I'm wondering, what's up with Dell doing all this software stuff? You know, aren't you a hardware company? Uh, what, what motivates Dell to get involved in these things? Is just selling more hardware by sponsoring open source, or is there more to it? Well, I think one of the cool things that Michael Dell talks about is when he came back and took the helm four years ago, he said the business model that we'd had before had been fully amortized, right? So this whole idea of low-cost producer for uh, mass production PCs and servers, uh, we need to start adding value to that. And so as a result, we're now becoming a solutions company. And so that's what we're doing is we're making the transition to provide complete solutions. And one of the biggest things that we've done uh, in moving in line with that goal is to acquire Pro. So we now have uh, 40,000 of our 100,000 people doing services. Uh, so it is more than just hardware. Okay. We're adding the hardware with complete solutions. And then what we do for all our solutions is we get a continual um, of options. Do we, do we build, do we buy, or do we partner? And we do each one of those. In the case of Pro, we bought. Um, we build our hardware. In the case of Crowbar, we decided to build that. Uh, then we partner with people like uh, Cloudera for our Hadoop offering, join for our uh, web application uh, turnkey offering with uh, vCloud, VMware for our vCloud offering. So we look at each different one, and the whole idea is to go from being a hardware company to be a company. Right. We're gonna have we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wrap. They need okay. to go back to the set. But uh, John, Dave, back to you. Uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Back out on the floor. Thanks. Okay. Great.